and a jolly good morning to you. Um, going to start a walk today on this beautiful, crisp spring Sunday morning in the town of Bedford with a walk up the Great River Ouse from here, the County Bridge, which is on Pre Bend Street, Bedford, and just near to the council offices, county council offices, just over there. And take a walk all the way up through the centre of Bedford and uh, before we leave the town cross over the footbridge called Butterfly Bridge and then back along to this position on the other side of the river it takes roughly about an hour it's a gentle walk it's flat of course it's next to the river so let's go the River Great Ouse is uh, quite a very slow meandering river and one of the longest rivers in England. It eventually spills out into the Wash in the North Sea in, uh, in Norfolk after going through places such as St Neots, Huntingdon and plenty more along the way. It really is a stunning morning today freezing at about 8 o'clock this morning. It's around about 5 Celsius now and it's 10 o'clock. As I say, it's a Sunday morning so most people about are just ambling around, come out for a morning walk, pop for a coffee and then you just enjoy the sunshine. What you will see a lot of here in Bedford, particularly at the weekends, is rowing. And there are a number of rowing clubs. shall pass along the way. We we'll also pass a lot of swans. And a few of these guys too. First rowing club there is the uh, Star Club which has been there as long as I can remember. What I do like about the walk along the river in Bedford in particular is that you're, once you get away from the bridges you are mostly quite a distance from any traffic so it tends to be fairly peaceful and quiet and particularly so on the south side of the river over there. This area here has got a load of new uh, apartments, restaurants and such like it used to be. I seem to think there was a bee jams here at one time in a less than salubrious car park. That's a long time ago, I can't really remember. It might have become an Iceland and generally speaking it wasn't particularly pleasant. It's been smartened up around here now. With a few well-known name restaurants and so on. It's also been uh, a few footbridges put in over the years just to make it easier to get back into across to the south side or south to north instead of going along to the vehicle bridges which are more distantly spaced. This particular part of the uh, this, this walkway next to the river is called the Queen's Walk. Just as we go back over here, towards the back side of the courts, comes Charter Walk. Despite the fact there is still a bit of a nip in here, our people actually sat out here at this, this cafe. to walk and in fact walking behind the back of the county court 
magistrates' courts. At this point on the north side you have to actually leave the riverbank pathway and cross over the road. The bridge here is the Bedford Town Bridge and like a lot of towns they've got a river going through the middle of it. Some of these old bridges just can't cope with the current level of traffic quite the same as if they've been built more recently so Bedford does have a bit of a problem with traffic particularly in the week and in the rush hour, with people trying to get from one side of the river to the other in cars. It's a nice old bridge all the same. This is where you need to cross over the A600 and up there is Bedford High Street. bridge does get particularly busy during the busier times of day during the week. It's fairly quiet this morning, it's a Sunday as I say. Now just approaching the Swan Hotel, it's a quite traditional old fashioned type of hotel. It's been here for a very long time. And it's probably, um, generally speaking, more preferable than some of the more modern types of hotel, one of which is just over there on the other side of the river. And there's another rowing club. It's the only part of the walk really where you're particularly close to the road. Once we've moved along here just a little bit then the embankment and the road separate so it's a more leisurely walk alongside the trees there in the distance. really is a lovely place to come for a walk, especially on a Sunday morning. See all the families out, kids feeding the swans and ducks and geese that uh, live along here. I would say the embankment footpath moves away from the, the road called the embankment at this point. So it tends to be a bit calmer and a bit more peaceful and generally speaking a nicer place just to sit down and watch the world go by for a little while. Well, that's got to be the oldest and uh, most old-fashioned looking dog waste dustbin I think I've ever seen. Maybe uh, 
maybe Bedford was there at the beginning when uh, suddenly picking up your dog waste became the thing to do. Because when I was a kid, no one seemed to bother, but um, they certainly do now, or on the whole they do. Shame on you if you don't. <laughs> These guys are getting breakfast ahead. There's a fantastic boat ride you can do in Bedford on the John Bunyan community boat that's moored at the Priory Marina, which is way in the distance and further than I'm going to be walking today. Uh, but it runs boat trips up and down the Great Ouse through the middle of Bedford. And I think you can also hire it for private functions and so on and so forth. So uh, that may be worth considering if you Google John Bunyan community boat. I know it has got its own website and details of when they run public trips, cost of tickets and whatever else you may need to know. But uh, certainly worth uh, consideration. I've not actually seen it coming up and down here for a while. Um, so perhaps it only runs in the summer months, I don't really know. But the website will certainly say. But I certainly have seen it going up and down at the weekend during the summer usually with quite a lot of people on board and I think there's a bar too but don't quote me on that Suspension bridges go, it's a fairly dinky affair and only for uh, people on foot, I should say. But once again, it's, uh, it's not actually been there that long as my I'm just trying to think of when I was first put up with it. I think it was that long ago, and obviously it needs to get across the river. to the halfway point in the walk and cross over the river and go back in the other direction. Butterfly Bridge and it's where I'm going to cross over today to head back down towards the County Bridge and finish the walk. You can carry on for miles and miles and miles along the path, cycle or walk, uh, 
uh, certainly as far as Sandy, which is a good distance from here. And uh, that's a walk for another day. Shame the birds have decided to visit this sign because that is quite interesting. The bits you can read. Actually, there's loads of open space. You can come down here with a picnic or just sit on the seats, watch the world go by, and uh, generally relax. It's probably a little bit too cool today for a picnic, but it's certainly a nice place to spend an hour or two. I hope the kids have a good time. Bandstand just here. And in all my years of walking around and coming to Bedford, I've never ever seen a band playing on the bandstand. I presume it does happen sometimes. And one day I'll come down here and it will be happening. Maybe.
and we're now back to the Bedford Town Bridge. Now on this side of the river you can actually walk underneath it rather than go up and have to cross the road. So that's a definite bonus for walking on this side. I think if you're uh, six, about six foot one or two or above, then you would definitely need to duck walking under here. I can only just make it. I'm five foot eleven. <laughs> south side of the river we're going past the courts again there and one of the other footbridges that can take you back onto the north side of the river and the town centre if you come here come to Bedford on a Sunday uh, in particular I believe the majority of the car parks at least are free to park in, which is a bonus. And uh, where we started on Prebend Street, there's a car park just over the road from there, which is quite a convenient place to park. Do a nice little walk up from there, back through the town. Another alternative, of course, would be to cross over here, go straight up there into the centre of town where there's the usual array of shops and so on. And uh, take a left turn in the town and just follow the road back down until you come to Prebend Street and take you back to the car park. But I have to say, coming back this way and back down the river would certainly be my choice. And you know you when you've come to the end of the walk because you come to that uh, monstrosity of a building that the council use which dispels any myth that uh, the council spends all the money on it itself because clearly they didn't in this case they just bought the cheapest concrete possible and stuck that thing there pretty big eyesore on the landscape of Bedford I've got to say never mind if you avert your eyes and look in the other direction, it's a whole lot better going that way. Hope you enjoyed this one. I'll be back with some more soon. We're back at County Bridge and Pre-Bend Street. <laughs>